Naitwa Dr. Isidore Ngaomela ni daktari wa mbingo wa mifupa um, kwa miaka kumi sasa na pia na um, hamu ya kufanya operation kutibu magonjwa ya mgongo ndio maana um, uh, niko hapa leo na fanya operation ya mgongo na mgonjwa wetu leo ana tatizo linalohusu lina uzee kwa hiyo ana shida ya um, tunaita ute ukimwambia mtu ute au diski mbili za mwisho chini kwenye lamba kuelekea kwenye mkia zinaumwa zimetumbukia kuelekea uti wa mgongo na inakandamiza uti wa mgongo na mishipa ya fahamu kwa tunachofanya operation hapa leo ni kuhakikisha tumepunguza uh, ule mkandamizo sehemu ya mgongo ili aweze tena kupata kusikia miguuni kwake bila shida na nguvu ziwe kama kawaida kama alivyokuwa zamani kwa ndio sehemu kubwa ya operation hiyo kwa tutafanya sehemu mbili yani pingili ya nne na ya tano na ya tano na mkia tuliona wagonjwa Jumatatu ilikuwa siku nzima tunaona wagonjwa wote ambao walikuwa wamekuja kwa ajili ya matibabu hayo ambao tuliwaona siku za nyuma tukaona watafaidika na operation tukawatayarisha na tukaona Jumatatu wakaandaliwa wakalazwa na tumeshafanya operation kumi kati ya hizi mbili ni za ubongo zilizobaki za migongo na Uh, wote tuleo wafanyia mpaka sasa hivi wanaendelea vizuri wana matokeo mazuri kuliko hivyo kuwa siku moja kabla ya operation My name is Dr. Chris Comey. I'm a neurosurgeon from Hartford, Connecticut, in the United States. About five years ago, a friend of mine who was born in Bacoba introduced me to Dr. Isidore Nagayamela. And I began to come to Bagando and I've been coming for the last five years, two or three times per year. And I've had the privilege of getting to know many of the people here, and I have to say Bagando is a special place. We have been working together, myself and Dr. Isidore, to uh, have him learn some of the techniques that, uh, that I've learned in spine surgery so that he can offer that to the people of uh, Bagando and of the lake region. Um, It struck me when I first got here that there was uh, 18 million people being served by Bagando and there was very little uh, spine surgery being done. And Dr. Isidore uh, took the initiative and wanted to learn and has done a fantastic job learning spine surgery. He now works independently and I work with him Uh, on complex cases, uh, but he is very well accomplished. And now the next phase of our work is for him to begin to teach his partner spine surgery so that more and more surgeons at Bagando can do spine surgery for the patients of this region. So I've taken care of many patients since I've, I've been here. Uh, on this visit, uh, I've been doing uh, some brain surgery uh, independently of Dr. Uh, Isidore and working with Dr. Isidore on, on complex spine cases. Uh, we see many injuries uh, from motorbikes and falls and uh, injuries uh, with mining. Uh, and we had an 11-year-old girl who had a, a fracture and weakness in her legs. Her fracture was of the upper uh, part of her mid-back or the thoracic spine. Uh, and Dr. Isidore uh, reconstructed her and we saw her this morning and her legs are feeling better. She's moving more, has more power, and has less numbness in her legs. Um, Semu kubwa ni, ni kutu, kutuongezea ujuzi. Yani, um, kwa hiyo nafikiri yondeo namba moja, lakini pia kuongeza mausiano na, na bugando pamoja na wile ushirika uliomtuma wa St. Francis Hospital ya um, uh, Connecticut. Uh, so, I mean, Marikani na pia yuko katika uh, uhusiano pia wa kanisa la inaitwa la Trinity Church la America kwa kila mwaka huwa anakuja mara mbili tunafanya naye kazi tunajifunza uh, tunaongeza ujuzi kwa sababu wenzetu wako mbali kidogo Uh, kingine pia kuna vifaa wanatusaidia tunapata baadhi ya vifaa vya wanatuongezea um, kwa mfono sasa hivi tumepata uh, screws za kuweka kwenye migongo za kutosha uh, ambazo zilikuwa tumeishiwa 
Um, pia wanatusaidia kufundisha kama hivi mnavyoona tunafanya naye anakuja na, na kuanzia Jumanne tumekuwa tunafanya naye pamoja. Uh, pia ataondoka na nesi wetu mmoja kwenda kukaa naye kwa miezi miwili ili kumfundisha namna ya ka, kama unavyomuona Ezekiel Ezekiel basically ndio atakaondoka anaenda Marekani na Dr. Kome atakwenda kufanya kazi ya kujua vifaa zaidi vya vya neuro surgery yani kwa ajili ya kutibu ubongo na mgongo na yeye yeah, akirudi atafundisha manesi wenzake kingine pia kuna baadhi ya wagonjwa ambao labda uh, wameshindwa kutibiwa hapa mmoja na fahamu ataondoka naye pia wataenda kumsaidia ni mtoto alikuwa amekatika mguu juu sana karibu na na hip na pia amemchukua na mama yake wataenda ataenda kutengenezewa mguu wa bandia mzuri zaidi ili aweze kutembea ambao utakuwa una, unakuwa na yeye anavyokuwa kila anapokuwa anaweza kwa modify unafuata urefu kwa sababu bado ni mtoto na ito sina majura nilikuwa huko shule nimetoka shule nikafika na mimi na marafiki zangu tukapanda tukapanda mimi nikapanda kwenye mti wa mzambalawe nikafika tukaanza kuangua mazamba tukala sasa kwa tuna tunangua mazamba nika nika nimekanyaga mti mbovu ndo nikaanguka ilikuwa ni jumatano saba saba la sita najisikia vizuri nilifanya operation kwenye mgongo sasa na naendelea vizuri vizuri mwanzo nilikuwa na, naumia mgongo shingo na kichwa alafu na miguu ilikuwa ina, ina guns naona kilichomsaidia kuna majani majani yameotaota pale mengi na no, mimi nilivyoona niliona tu amerundoka chini ila kuna mti aliyokuja nao kutoka juu mimi kwa jina naitwa Stanford Samson Mungu ha nilipata ajali niangukiwa na mti eh nilikuwa napita pita mtaani huko na mjini kwetu kwetu ni kisiwani ukala ukelewe sasa kwa bahati mbaya nilipokuwa napita mtaani huko alikuwa hajaika alama yote ya kiashiria kama wanakata mti nimepokatiza ndo nikawa nimeangukiwa na ule mti ilikuwa ni tarehe 22 mwezi uliopita ya mwezi uliopita nikapita hospitali ya Bwisia eh huko Kiswani kaja hospitali ya wilaya ukelewe nilipotoka pale ndo nikawa nimekuja hospitali ya ya Seketule Seketule ndo nikatumwa nikaja kwa Bugando e, sasa ndo akawa amefanya vipimo nikapima CT scan nikaambiwa nifanyaje nikaambiwa ni nifanye ni, ni operation ambayo operation ilikuwa ina galimu ya 7 na 90 eh sawa kwa amemfanyia kwamba walikuwa wamekuja madaktari bingwa ndo kwa amemfanyia naona operation yao imeenda vizuri Uh, baada ya kunifanyia upasuaji hali yangu kwa kweli niendelea vizuri maana nilikuja na hali mbaya umefanywa hali unasema ilikuwa juzi operation ndio ilifanyika uh, ukilinganisha na namba ya wafanyakazi namba ya vifaa vya kufanyia kazi lakini hospitali ina, inachukua jitihada za ziada kwa mfano wamesha nunua seti ya pili nafikiri iko bandani na subiri mambo ya clearance kwa baadaye kuanzia wiki ijayo utakuwa na seti mbili onesi tunaenda hivi ku train kwa sababu hatukua na hii professional kwa siku nyingi kwa tuna tunajaribu kuwafundisha manesi wetu pia ili wajue vyombo ili visiharibike vifaa pia vya vya neurosurgery ni gari sana ili uweze kufanya operation ya neurosurgery kwa mfano unahitaji x-ray mashine kama hiyo labda ukipata kwa bei ya chini sana ni dola 1500 unaongelea milioni kama uh, 130 150 kwa chumba kimoja tutaleta kama unataka kufanya chumba kingine maki uwe labda nazo mbili um, vifaa kama ukiona vile vingine tunavyotumia hapo nyuma kila kifaa kimoja ni gari sana kwa hizo ni challenges ambazo tunazipata kwenye aina haya ya matibabu ya ubongo na mgongo. Basically kuna orthopedic surgeon mmoja mimi hapa nafanya lakini tulikuwa na neuro surgeon mpaka labda miezi miwili iliyopita akaondoka ila tunasomesha. 
tuna wawili wako wanasoma nje ya Buganda ambao tunategemea tarudi miaka mitatu ijayo. Um, kwa wakati huu tunakuwa tunatumia pia madaktari kwa mfano wiki iliyopita mbili zilizopita tulikuwa na daktari kutoka Uganda amekaa hapa wiki mbili. Uh, tunategemea kuanzia wiki ijayo pia watakuja madaktari kutoka Mwimbili Orthopedic Institute Moi pia watakuwa wanakuja ili kuhakikisha kwamba ule mzigo wagonjwa wote wanatibiwa kwa wakati. I would say the highest achievement for me is watching my colleague do excellent surgery with me just standing there. When I first arrived, uh, I showed him my techniques and then each visit after that, I've pulled back more and more to let him do more and more of the surgeries and he's now at the point where he is very accomplished and can do excellent spine surgery.